Hello my dear pharmacy students my name is Sachin Jadhav founder of fundamental pharmacy author of fundamentals of gpat naipur di pharmacist volume 1 gpat cracker achiever mcq book and few other books welcomes you in this youtube video session my dear students if you are new on our channel please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any video from my side my dear students in this video we are going to see pinpoints of pharmacology part 6 which is very very important for your gpat naipur drug inspector and government pharmacist exam particularly if you are going to prepare for gpat and naipur 2023 so this video is going to be very useful knowledge oriented for you so please watch this video until the end particularly we are going to see plasma protein binding of drug then different plasma proteins their molecular weight and important features then different plasma protein binding sites their synonyms from this pharmacology and this is very very important part if you see the previous year paper of gpat naipur drug inspector pharmacist exam so you will find a questions on this part so it's my request to you again please watch this video until end first of all you should know what do you mean by plasma protein binding so it is nothing but the phenomenon of complex formation of a drug with the plasma proteins it is nothing but the a phenomenon of formation of complexes with the plasma protein and drug that is nothing but the plasma protein binding suppose that you are taking a particular dosage form tablet say for instance you are taking a tablet through oral route now what will happen the tablet will go into your stomach will disintegrate and will release the drug that is dissolution after dissolution that active drug is absorbed into the blood okay now after absorption that drug may present in the free form in the blood or that drug may bind to a plasma protein depending upon the physical chemical properties of that drug so if that drug is a very basic in nature if that drug is having very ionizable groups so that drug there are chances of that drug getting binded bound binding to the plasma protein so that depends upon the physical chemical properties of the drug what is plasma protein binding of drug it is nothing but the phenomenon of formation of complex between drug and plasma proteins that is nothing but the plasma protein binding now there are different proteins they are present in the cell inside the cell as well as outside the cell for example in the blood you have rbc's in that rbc you have hemoglobin that is a protein so hemoglobin is intracellular protein but albumin in the plasma is a extracellular protein so depending on the this okay if your drug binds to intracellular protein if your drug binds to intracellular protein they are known as a primary receptors they are known as a primary receptor regarding the protein binding of drug not other receptor, not a receptor like your ion channels and all that is another receptor so if drug binds to a intracellular proteins within the cell that is known as a primary receptor and if cell uh, if drug binds to a other protein present in the plasma known as a extracellular binding or known as a silent receptor or secondary receptor types of protein binding okay so drug may bind to a protein in a reversible manner or in a irreversible manner now e okay so if drug binds to a protein in a reversible manner that well and good and that binding is a reversible that means it is a drug can be detached from the binding site right now a reversible binding most it is a most common type of drug protein binding and generally reversible reversible protein binding of drug involves the following kind of bonds so in the reversible protein binding hydrogen bonds may be there hydrophobic bonds may be there ionic bonds may be there or ionic interaction may be there and vendorval forces these are the four kinds of bond hydrogen bond hydrophobic bonds ionic bonds and vendorval forces these are the four type of bond that commonly observed in the reversible protein binding of drug as you know that these kind of bonds like hydrogen bonds then hydrophobic bonds so these bonds are nothing but the very weak bonds they are very they are very weak type of bonds and that's why so this complex formation or this protein binding which is a reversible because these bond formation are bond formation 
that is are nothing but the weak bonds and they can be easily separated and that's why reversible protein binding of drug drug can be separated from protein easily because the bond formation between this protein and uh, your drug is nothing but the very weak hydrogen bonds hydrophobic bonds ionic bonds or interaction and vendor wall process that's why it is a very it is a very weak bonds and it can be easily separated okay now second type of plasma protein binding is nothing but the irreversible type of plasma protein binding now in this as the name indicate irreversible means there is a strong bond between drug and plasma protein so this phenomenon is rarely observed and the covalent type of bond is involved in the irreversible plasma protein bind for example most of the drug they binds to a plasma protein in a reversible manner and there are certain drugs which causes the toxicity there are certain drugs and their metabolite which causes the toxicity they used to bind in irreversible manner to a protein for example covalent bonding of chloroform and paracetamol its metabolites to hepatic cell causing the necrosis so if you take a paracetamol beyond the 5 milli 5 gram per day so there is generation of no, there is a generation of one toxic metabolite known as a para hydroxyl naphthoquinone imine and that metabolite binds to hepatic cell and causes necrosis so that kind of protein and protein binding is nothing but the irreversible type of protein binding now remember two things over here first is nothing but the those drug which binds selectively to a plasma protein they less bound to extracellular tissue or blood component that means koi drug agar selectively plasma protein ko bound karta hai to wo jo baki ke tissue hai jaise aapka liver ya phir lungs wagaire skin bones to usko kam bind karega means those drug which binds to selectively to plasma protein they will less bound to a extracellular tissue for example warfarin warfarin is a anticoagulant it has a it binds selectively to a plasma protein so that that's why this warfarin binds less to the other extravascular tissue and such kind of binding involves the therefore this warfarin has a less apparent volume of distribution than true volume of distribution so here you should recall what is meant by volume of distribution that is nothing but the hypothetical volume of drug in the various body fluids hypothetical volume of drug in a various body fluids that is nothing but the volume of distribution now those drug which binds selectively to extra cellular tissue or extra vascular tissue that means they less bind to a plasma protein and they will have a large volume of distribution they will have a large apparent volume of distribution than true volume of distribution for example chloroquine तो यहाँ पे देखो वार्थरीन जो है वार्थरीन एंटी वो 99% प्लाज्मा प्रोटीन को बाउंड करता है प्लाज्मा प्रोटीन के साथ में कॉम्प्लेक्स फॉर्म करता है सो दैट्स व्हाई वार्थरीन इज लेस बाउंड टू अदर टिश्यू लाइक लंग्स स्किन लिवर एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा ठीक है एंड दैट्स व्हाई दिस वार्थरीन हैज अ लेस अपरेंट वॉल्यूम ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन देन ट्रू वॉल्यूम ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड दिस ड्रग क्लोरोपिन इट इज अ एंटी मलेरियल ड्रग okay this drug is also bound to plasma protein and this drug particularly binds to extra cellular tissue for example your retina retinal cells retinocytes of your retina okay or it binds to retina of your eyes and causes the adverse effect so this chloroquine has a large volume of distribution it has a large apparent volume of distribution than true volume of distribution आ, क्योंकि ये क्लोरोपिन जो है आपके रेटिनल सेल को बाइंड करता है तो ये एक्स्ट्रा सेलर टिश्यू को बाइंड करता है दैट मीन्स क्लोरोपिन जो प्लाज्मा प्रोटीन से उसको कम बाइंड करेगा जो प्लाज्मा प्रोटीन को ज्यादा बाइंड करेगा वो एक्स्ट्रा वेस्कुलर टिश्यू को कम बाइंड करेगा जो एक्स्ट्रा वेस्कुलर टिश्यू को बाइंड करता है वो प्लाज्मा प्रोटीन को कम बाइंड करता है सो दिस पार्ट इज अगेन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स सी डिफरेंट प्लाज्मा प्रोटीन अवेलेबल फॉर बाइंडिंग ऑफ वेरियस ड्रग्स सो so, आपके ब्लड में कितने टाइप के प्लाज्मा प्रोटीन्स है उसका मोलिकुलर वेट क्या है कॉन्सेंट्रेशन कितना है कौन से ड्रग उसको बाइंड करते हैं सो व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट प्लाज्मा प्रोटीन्स अवेलेबल इन द योर ब्लड व्हाट इज द मोलिकुलर वेट ऑफ सेम व्हाट व्हाट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इज देयर दे आर प्रेजेंट इन द प्लाज्मा एंड वट काइंड ऑफ ड्रग दैट बाइंड्स टू दिस प्रोटीन सो वो इन से वन बाय वन सो फर्स्ट वन इज नथिंग बट द ह्यूमन आल्बुमिन फर्स्ट वन इज नथिंग बट द ह्यूमन आल्बुमिन 
so human albumin it, it will have molecular weight of 65,000 delta this was question in GPAT 2020 what is the molecular weight of albumin so albumin will have 65,000 molecular weight and most of the drug they binds to albumin this was again a question in GPAT what is the concentration of this serum what is the concentration of albumin in the blood 3.5 to 5 percent okay 3.5 to 5 percent concentration is there and large variety of all types of drug they binds to this albumin so remember molecular weight of albumin is 65,000 delta it is present in the 3.5 to 5 percent in the plasma and most of the drug binds to albumin large variety of drug and all type of drug they binds to albumin second plasma protein available for binding of drug that is alpha alpha 1 acid glycoprotein acid alpha 1 acid glycoprotein it has a molecular weight of 44,000 delta and it has a concentration in the blood like 0.04 to 0.1% and which kind of drug binds to alpha 1 glycid glycoprotein so basic drugs like imipramine, lidocaine, quinidine these drugs binds to acid 1 glycoprotein okay then next glyco next protein available for binding of drug so that is nothing but the lipoprotein so lipoproteins they are of different types like high density lipoprotein intermediate density lipoprotein low density lipoproteins so they will have molecular weight in a range of 2 lakh to 3.4 lakh delta their concentration in the blood is variable and what kind of drug binds to lipoproteins so basic lipophilic drug like chlorpromazine and other drugs they binds to lipoproteins now next protein available in the blood for binding to a drug so that is alpha 1 globulin alpha 1 globulin it is having molecular weight of 59,000 delta and the concentration of this alpha 1 globulin in the blood is nothing but the 0.003 to 0.007 gram percent now what kind of drug binds to alpha 1 globulin so steroidal drug like corticosterone thyroxide thyroxine hormone then cyanocopalamine these drug binds to acid this drug binds to alpha 1 globulin now next protein available for binding of drug alpha 2 globulin so it is having molecular weight around 1.34 lakh delta it is having concentration in the blood like it is present in the blood in a concentration of 0.015 0.06 gram percentage now what kind of drug binds to alpha 2 globulin vitamin a d e k and cupric ions so lipid soluble vitamins and cupric ions they binds to alpha 2 globulin remember over here this is very very important part. now next protein available for binding to a drug that is hemoglobin so it is molecular weight is 64.5 thousand delta and it is present in the 11 to 16 percent in the blood now what kind of drug binds to a hemoglobin phenytoin phenobarbital phenothiazines so these drug binds to hemoglobin and remember because these drug binds to hemoglobin their adverse effect is adverse effect is like megaloblastic anemia both these drugs phenytoin as well as phenobarbital phenobarbital or phenobarbital causes the megaloblastic anemia because they binds to hemoglobin and uh, decreases the capacity of oxygen carrying they decreases the oxygen carrying capacity of hemoglobin that's why they causes the hemolytic uh, sorry megaloblastic anemia and this was again a question in drug inspector 2008 mpsc drug inspector 2008 so the both common adverse effect of phenytoin as well as phenobarbital the question was like this one of the following is the common adverse effect of phenytoin and phenobarbital and the options was like this like uh, uh, like sedation then uh, option b was like this uh, megaloblastic anemia option c was gingival hyperplasia and option d was uh, option d was the uh, option d was the all of them so this phenytoin and phenobarbital causes meg megaloblastic anemia remember there was a question regarding this albumin two times in the gpad and with this kind of exam this question was also there okay so this table is very very important remember now we'll see different drug protein that is albumin binding site so different drug binding site at albumin so mostly your plasma has a albumin so albumin will also have different binding site 
so we'll see so site first albumin binding site site one albumin binding site is known as a warfarin binding site and as a propazone binding site जो प्लाज्मा में अल्बुमिन होता है उसके ऊपर भी डिफरेंट बाइंडिंग साइट्स होते हैं बाइंडिंग साइट मतलब डिफरेंट सीक्वेंस ऑफ अमोन एसिड वेयर ड्रग यूज टू बाइंड सो साइट फर्स्ट इज नोन एज अ वारफेरिन बाइंडिंग साइट और एज अ प्रोपेजोन बाइंडिंग साइट नाउ इट रिप्रेजेंट द रीजन टू विच लार्ज नंबर ऑफ ड्रग्स दे बॉन्ड्स सो व्हाट काइंड ऑफ ड्रग बाइंड्स एट अ साइट फर्स्ट साइट फर्स्ट सो एनालिसिक एंटीबायोटिक और non steroidal anti inflammatory drug like phenylbutazone naproxen indomethacin different sulfa drugs like sulfa dimethoxine sulfa sulfa methazole then a phenytoin sodium valproate and bilirubin so all these drug binds to site first and site first is known as a warfarin binding site or as a propazone binding site so if warfarin and this phenylbutazone is given to okay given simultaneously what will happen the warfarin will bind to a plasma protein at the same site albumin site 1 and phenylbutazone also bind to a same site but the binding of warfarin to a albumin okay has because this warfarin has a less affinity to the albumin than phenylbutazone so phenylbutazone will displace this warfarin from binding site and will cause the warfarin toxicity that is nothing but the bleeding okay so that is known as a displacement type of adverse reaction or displacement type of interaction now we will see the second site available for binding to a albumin so site second of albumin is known as a dizepam binding site these kind of drug like dizepam ketopropen ibuprofen triptophan cloxacillin propenicid then medium chain fatty acid also binds to a site second of albumin तो ये इंपॉर्टेंट है साइट फर्स्ट इज नोन एज अरफेन बाइंडिंग साइट एंड एज अ प्रोपेजन बाइंडिंग साइट इसके ऊपर क्वेश्चन आ चुका है साइट सेकंड इज नोन एज अ डाइजम बाइंडिंग साइट इसके ऊपर भी क्वेश्चन आ चुका है और साइट थर्ड इज नोन एज अ डिगोक्सिन बाइंडिंग साइट सो एट द साइट थ्री डिगोक्सिन विल बाइंड एंड दिस वॉज ऑल्सो अ क्वेश्चन अगेन आस्क इन द एग्जाम वेरी एग्जाम नाउ साइट फोर इज नोन एज अ टेमोक्सिफेन बाइंडिंग साइट टेमोक्सिफेन बाइंडिंग साइट ठीक है सो यू you have to remember what is site first site second site three site four they can ask you direct question or they can ask you the match the following type of question they will give you in a one column different sites for albumin binding and in the another column they can give you the examples or then their synonyms now different binding sites for globulins so globulin is also one of the protein present in the plasma so drugs also binds to globulin so what are the different sites for binding of globulin so first one is nothing but the alpha globulin so alpha 1 globulin is also known as a transcortin okay transcortin and it is the site for binding of corticosteroids okay so that's why it is known as a transcortin or corticosteroid binding globulin corticosteroid binding globulin remember this iske upar bhi question aa chuke now alpha 2 globulin okay alpha 1 globulin is known as a transcortin alpha 2 globulin is known as a celluloplasmin alpha 2 globulin is known as a celluloplasmin and it is a binding site for lipid soluble vitamins like a d e and k and cupric ions remember iske upar bhi question aa chuka hai what is the binding site for bad soluble vitamin that is a alpha 2 globulin now another site for globulin binding site that is a beta 1 globulin so binding site of beta 1 globulin is known as a transferrin and it is the binding site for ferrous iron okay remember now next is nothing but the beta 2 globulin so it is a binding site for carotenoids okay like beta carotin and other carotenoids will bind to beta 2 globulin protein okay now another is nothing but the gamma globulins so you know gamma globulins means nothing but the they are antibodies so so what will bind to antibodies so obviously antigen to so antigen he antibody ko bind karta so it is known as a binding site for antigen gamma globulin is binding site for antigen beta 2 globulin for carotenoid alpha uh, okay so beta 1 globulin binding site for ferrous ion known as a transferrin alpha 2 globulin site alpha 2 is known as a celluloplasmin and it is a binding site for lipid soluble vitamins and cupric ion alpha 1 globulin is known as a transcortin and binding site for 
corticosteroids. Remember these things very very important. The order of binding to a extravascular tissue. Iske upar bhi ek bar question aa chuka hai. So let's see. Most of the drugs they binds to liver. After that kidney. After that lungs and muscle. There was a question in GPAT 2021. Arrange the following organs in the increasing capacity which drug binds. Okay. So question was like this. So remember most of the drug they binds to liver. After that they binds to kidney. After that they binds to lungs. And after that they binds to muscle. And lastly they binds to skin and bones. Okay. So remember liver. So increasing order. So liver most of the drug they used to bind to liver. After that kidney after that lungs after that muscle and after that skin and after that bones remember this was question in gpa 2021 again significance of protein binding what is the significance of protein binding protein binding hone ke baad kya kya effect hota hai protein binding ka use kya hai uska effect kya hota hai iska absorption pe distribution pe metabolism pe excretion pe duration of action pe so significance of protein binding so remember protein binding increases the absorption because प्रोटीन बाउंड ड्रग इज नॉट अ फ्री ओके जैसे आपके प्लाज्मा में प्रोटीन बाउंड कर चुका है ड्रग तो वो ड्रग प्रोटीन बाउंड है मतलब वो फ्री नहीं है तो आपके प्लाज्मा में ड्रग है ही नहीं ऐसा ट्रीट करती है आपकी बॉडी और उसके उसकी वजह से क्या होता है कि जो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ग्रेडियंट है कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ग्रेडियंट अक्रॉस द जी आई टी ल्यूमिन एंड ब्लड दैट इंक्रीजेशन दैट इंक्रीजेज द एब्सॉर्शन सो सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ प्रोटीन बाइंग सो रिमेंबर प्रोटीन बाइंडिंग इंक्रीजेज द एब्सॉर्शन protein binding of drug decreases the volume of distribution okay so protein binding of drug decreases the volume of distribution for example warfarin will have less volume of distribution based on been furosemide calcium channel blockers digoxin these drug will have less volume of distribution and protein binding of drug prolongs the action of drug or protein binding of drug increases the duration of action of drug how See, protein bound drug is not available for metabolism. Protein bound drug is not available for distribution. Protein bound drug is not available for elimination. Protein bound drug is not available for therapeutic effect. Okay, so protein bound binding of drug temporarily protein binding of drug will increase the duration of action by releasing the drug slowly. Okay, so that's how protein binding of drug will increase the duration of action. Now, protein binding of drug will decrease the metabolism and elimination because protein bound drug is not available for metabolism, distribution, elimination, and therapeutic effects. Now, drug with low volume of distribution they can easily dialyze. Drug with a high volume of distribution, so dialysis is not not effective. I will explain this. So, drug with low volume of distribution. What do you mean by low volume of distribution? That means drug is mostly present in the blood okay so drug is if drug bound to a plasma protein that means it will have a less volume of distribution if drug binds to extracellular tissue that means it will have a high volume of distribution right agar koi drug aapke plasma protein ko bound karta hai to uska volume of distribution kam rehta hai kyunki wo drug pura ki pura drug kahan pe rehta hai aapke blood mein rehta hai agar koi drug aapke extravascular tissue matlab aapke liver ya fir kidney ya fir lungs ya fir skin bones usko bind karta hai to uska matlab kya उसका मतलब वो ड्रग कहाँ पे ब्लड से बाहर भी बा, बाकी टिश्यू में भी जा चुका है सो so, उसका मतलब होता है हाई वॉल्यूम ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो प्लाज्मा प्रोटीन दे विल लेस वॉल्यूम ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन दोज ड्रग विच बाउंड्स टू एक्स्ट्रावेस्कुलर टिश्यू दे विल लार्ज वॉल्यूम ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन नाउ डायलिसिस मीन्स वॉट रिमूव ऑफ ड्रग फ्रॉम योर ब्लड सो इफ ड्रग इज प्रेजेंट इन द ब्लड देन ओनली यू कैन रिमूव दैट ड्रग ओके सो दैट्स वाई ड्रग हैविंग लो वॉल्यूम ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन दे कैन बी इजिली Dialyzed and drug which are having large volume of distribution, they are not easily dialyzed. Okay, remember. Now comparison between plasma protein binding of drug and tissue drug binding. Okay, so in case of plasma protein binding, so binding involves the weak bonds and it is reversible. In case of tissue binding, so binding generally involves strong type of bond, covalent bond, and it is irreversible. So remember, drug that binds to plasma protein have a small apparent volume of distribution drug which binds to extravascular tissue they will have a large apparent volume of distribution then half life of plasma protein bound drug is relatively short half life of plasma uh, half life of drug which is bound to extravascular tissue is relatively long okay now plasma protein binding of drug does not result in the toxicity plasma 
okay now extra vascular binding of drug result in the toxicity we have seen the example of chloroquine okay displacement type of reaction or displacement type of distribution interaction that can be possible in the plasma protein binding displacement type of drug interaction is not possible in case of tissue binding now competitive competition between drug for binding site leads leads to distribution interaction or in the plasma protein binding tissue binding is generally non competitive okay so this was regarding the plasma protein binding of drug so friends if you want such kind of lecture in the detail you can join our gpat niper 2023 online course here you will have live lectures on wednesday saturday sunday recorded lectures study material will be given in the form of hard copy online test series will also be there all these are included in the 8000 rupees and you can expect discount from this amount also so you can contact me on my numbers my numbers will be also available in the description box and my dear friends we have very much promising result from previous 5 years thank you very much for your time